Why are you here on this planet? I don't know. The trip is to eat, drink, and go to sleep. That's it. Oh. And pay bills. <laughs> well, I have to do all those things. But I take care of my son. I take care of my family, the people I love. What, what and if, hopefully they'll take care of me too. Nice. <laughs> well, so is that your purpose? So is that your purpose? That's your purpose? Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, like, I just, you but what if you're not able to do that? Let's say you don't have a family. Let's say you don't have kids. Let's say you don't have a family. Oh, there's always other people who need loving. Okay. <laughs> so what if you're not able to give love? Well, then I would not be me. So can I give you something very objective in purpose? God mentions that in the Quran. In one of the chapters of the Quran, in Surah Dariyat. Mm -hmm. Chapter 51, verse 56, God says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ We have created the jinn and the men with no other purpose, with no other reason, but to worship me. So the purpose of our creation is to worship that God. You believe that? Pardon me? Is that what you believe? Yeah. But don't you think that's a good purpose? Yes. An objective purpose? Even if you don't have a family, you still be able to worship God. Even if you don't have job, you still be able to worship God. Even if you don't have to pay bills, you still have to worship God. Yes, I hear you. But I'm not saying you're wrong. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is God, irrelevant of the title he carries, mm -hmm. uh, is supposed to be a, li a loving force. He is. Huh? It, it doesn't really need for us to get on our hands and knees. He doesn't. He doesn't. Uh -huh. But we need to. We're the ones that need him. He is greatest already. Yeah. He is the greatest already. But you by you by worshiping him will not benefit him even the little. Yeah. The minute. It's gonna benefit you. Well, I, you're right. You are right. But I believe that even though I do, I do uh, believe in a greater power and blah blah. blah. But I believe that caring for the ones who are here, it is caring for God. Yeah, exactly. So if there is a stone, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said that if there is a stone on the street and I as a Muslim remove that stone, you know, that's an act of charity. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, you know, I'll, I'll give you an interesting example, you know. Because a lot of people say, um, as long as you're good to others, you're a good person, right? Wow. Yeah. I thought you were, I thought you were doing that on purpose. Because <laughs> he was right there. <laughs> yeah. It must be the smell. The orange, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. So I'll give you a good example. Like, because a lot of people say, like, if you're good to others, then you're a good person. Like, that's all that matters, just being good to others, loving them. Mm. Now, but if there was a person that, you know, was really good to everybody, you gave charity, he always helped his friends, you know, anything, anything he never needed, he would give it to you. But the moment he went back home, he would abuse his mom. He would talk well, bad to her. then that's not good. So it's, it's, it's the same thing, <laughs> the same I, example. But that's the, that's the thing. But, but, but that's the thing we're, we're forgetting. Yes. Like, we have to be good to people and to God. Yeah, but, we, have to, yeah. we have to also worship God because he's worthy of it. Oh, yes, yeah, I don't yeah. disagree with that. What I'm saying is we cannot spend, well, we can, one can, if, that's, if you're a monk or something like that, you can spend all your day praying God, but in the real life, you have to do something else. Yeah. The difference, in words, <laughs> the, the diff the difference in words is praying and worshiping. Worship, yeah. to the majority of people living here, is just in the church. Uh, right? But worship is very encompassing. You can be worshiping God by being good to your parents. Exactly. You can worship God by. I guess that's what I was saying. Yeah, I know. So a lot of people, what happens is uh, when they talk I was about not no problem. <laughs> when they talk about worship, yes. they think that you have to kneel on your yes. feet and then you worship. Yes. You you have confined that definition of worship there. Yes. You have limited. Worship doesn't just mean yes. that thing. Worship means to love, to know, to obey, yes. to give gratitude. I, I guess that's what we are saying all along. Is that. But I agree. When I hear that thing, worship, in the mouth of many people, that's what it means. Exactly. So worship just doesn't it's mean... Going to church or yeah. whatever. Yeah. But you know, you stop. And then suddenly, all your thoughts and all that go to whatever. But your ultimate worship yeah. should be towards the Creator. 
because he has the right on you yes. right because he is the one who created you because he is the one who is feeding you you know but but it does come to the same so. and if you worship him and if you worship him he's going to forgive you your sins and let you enter into paradise what yeah. he has prepared for you well you shall be judged how you judge others. exactly <laughs> because the final recompense will be on the day of judgment that's right god mentions that in the book yeah. that every soul in one of the chapters of the quran God says in Surah Al-Imran, yeah, I'm going to give you one book. But it's very similar, I'm sure, for many I, I, others yeah. I've had. I think this would be a good um, concept book of God. Would, yeah, because this one talks about uh, uh, worship. So, Because even if, if all you're doing in your life is just worshipping God, you know, like a few times a day, and then you're going and working and going about your business, yeah. still, you should be worshipping the, the actual God, the one that created you, and not the false God, right? Yeah. But do you believe, uh, I guess, in my mind, the way I see it, is we are all worshipping the same God. Because there's only one creator. Yeah. But so what is where you come from, you give it another name. So what is your definition of God? So when you talk about God, when you said, I'm just prolonging yeah. to what you have said. Yeah. You said that we worship the same God. So what I want to know, because I'm going to tell you the God that I worship. He has a definition. What is the God that you worship? What is his definition? It's, for me, it's just a loving power. Okay, so that God, he yeah. defines himself. That God, he defines himself. Yeah. He says in the Quran, the best definition that any Muslim can give you is go to you Surah Al-Ikhlas. That's the 112th chapter of the Quran. Where God defines himself and that he says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Qul huwa Allah wahad. Say he is Allah, God, the one and only. Yes. Allahu Samad. Allah the absolute and eternal. Yeah. Lam so yalid wa lam the, yulad. The Catholics say the same about Christ. No. Uh, or, um, no, let me complete that God. and then we'll, let me complete that and then we'll compare. <laughs> lam yalid wa lam yulad. I'm not good with variety. No, allow me to complete. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He begets not. This is my definition of God. Yeah. This is the God that I worship. You said that we worship the same God. Yeah. So I want to know if you worship the same God that I worship. He says that he is one and only. Yeah. He says that he is absolute and eternal. Yeah. He begets not, nor was he begotten. There is nothing whatever like unto him. Right? But when you say the Catholics, they worship Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, my peace be upon him. He was born out of the womb of his mother. He stayed in the womb of his mother for nine months. He suckled from Mother Mary. So when I worship the God whose definition says that he does not beget and he is not begotten. Yes. And the Catholics yes. cannot say that they worship the same God because True. they worship Jesus. Well, actually... You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. But they say Christ is the Son of God. There's a lot of sons in the Bible are. though. We all are. Book of Romans. Children of God. But yours is Allah because whatever, that's the way you were raised. Somebody else will call their um, Buddha, somebody else will call them. So Allah, Allah is the own name of Allah, is the yeah. own name of God. What does Allah mean? Allah means the only true God. Yeah. Rest everything else, rest well, everything else are taghuts, yeah. are false gods. I, I'm, I'm not contradicting you because I get it. Yeah. What I'm saying is, as humans, uh, we are thought, we all, depending where you come from, okay. are thought uh, about a power that is creative and loving. Can I make a comment? Because you said everybody has a different name for God, but everybody worships God. But that's not 100% true, because if you ask the Christian who you worship, they'll tell you Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I just told her that. Well, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yes. you, if you ask a yes. Hindu, they'll say Krishna or yes. Buddha and everything. And these yeah. are not gods. Right? Because they did not create the... the yeah. Universe. So our true. definition of God, I said, Lam yelid wa lam yulad. He yes. begets not, nor was he begotten. I, I get what you're saying. But Buddha I was... Understand. His name was Gautama Siddhartha. Yes. He had a mother and a father. Yeah. Jesus, he had a mother. I'm mother Mary. Yeah. Hindus who worship Krishna, he had a father. Right? Rama, who is one of the deities yes. of Hindus, but he had a father, Dasharat. They, exactly. I understand that. Yeah. And the, but when they say God, they, God does not have a mother or father. Yeah. He's a creator. Yeah. 
But depending on the religion, they have hackles, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have Christ, they have uh, angels, they have this, they have that. It's an interesting and point. Yeah. I say, you know, if if I if it's not my thing, that's fine. But if but if it gives you center, if it gives you uh, a way to get what you need to be, as far as your belief in your greater power. So let's it. say so let's say there's a no parking there. Yeah. Let's say they say that the road is blocked. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I have to go to Millwoods. The road is blocked, and this is the shortcut. Yeah. Okay. Can I still take that? Well, no. You can, but you may be I cannot. penalized. Exactly. Get <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? So, you cannot reach right through wrong means. Yes. Oh, I know what you're so saying. So, God, when God, he defines himself, you know, he shows us a way. When God, he defines himself, yeah. he does not become a human being to know what is good or what is yes. bad for the human being. What he does, he chooses a man amongst men whom he communicates on a higher level whom we call them as messengers. Right? To this messenger, God gives them the guidance. How to reach God is through the messenger who is being guided by Almighty God Himself. To these messengers, God gives them the book, the guidance. You follow the guidance, you reach God. Yeah. Right? I see what you mean. You know what I'm saying? I see. And uh, like I say, I agree, but I agree as well that... Uh, see, there's a way you hold your phone. This is my phone. And there's a way you hold your phone. Okay. Let's say I hold it upside down. Does it make sense? Well, <laughs> you might have difficulty hearing the other Exactly. <laughs> so there's a way how you have to reach God as well. Oh, there's a way. There's a way how you reach God. Yes. And yes. he actually legislated that through the prophets. Yes. Through the book and the guidance that he has given yes. to that prophet. Yes. I, I, I guess what I'm saying is I agree with what you're saying. But for me... I believe, and I may be totally wrong. Yeah, yeah. If you're wrong, I'll tell you you're wrong. But Don't I worry. believe, <laughs> as a, like, as a human, they, okay, like uh, I have children. They're not nice all the time. Okay. But I still love them. Mm -hmm. If they do wrong, I will forgive them. Yeah. Yeah. So if God, Allah, whatever God carries, yeah. is power. The power of love, there's, and I'm his child. Yeah. There's no way he's not going to forgive me. Yeah. You're asking for forgiveness. Whatever because... I did or didn't do. Yeah, I, I, I think yeah, there's one slight issue is that you believe that God is all loving, that He's only love and He loves everybody because He doesn't. Yeah. Right. And but she thinks that should be the case. But if yeah. we are a product, we are a product of His creation. He, ha he understands our weaknesses, mind or heart, and so therefore, okay, so let's say uh, I rob a bank, I kill somebody in the process, I didn't want to but I did, for whatever reasons, yeah, yeah. Uh, not in my way. So now, this is a time in my life, uh, for whatever reasons I made those choices, uh, then, uh, what well, I go to jail, patati, patata, time passes. I grow. I grow emotionally, mentally, spiritually. And I come to realize at one point that that was wrong. Okay. Yeah. That was wrong yeah. that I regret. I'd like to do something to. You got it. I, 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 I hear you, I hear you. So, so I'm going to die, I'm going to go to hell. Yeah, so listen, God, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got, I got you. No. God is a fear, no. <laughs> I respect that, okay, I respect uh, that emotion. So you ask God for forgiveness, he'll forgive. But the thing is, instead of asking God for forgiveness, you have misunderstood the concept of God. Uh, you think this tree is God, and you go and you kneel down to this tree and then you ask yeah. for forgiveness. Is this free God? No. How is this free be able to forgive you? So what you have to do is you have to identify who that God is and then submit yourself to that creator and then ask for forgiveness and God forgives. And when God forgives, one of the attributes of God is that he is al-afu. 
Okay, you know what does it mean? It means that the one who forgives and doesn't keep any record. Uh huh. Okay. Doesn't even keep any records of your bad deeds. He forgives. Yeah. He's a forgiving God. Yeah. But the condition is for him to forgive you, you have to ask for forgiveness. Yes. So, but you are going for forgiveness and asking for forgiveness from something that's not even God. Oh yeah, that some people do that because no, no, I'm talking about you. You were your your, your yeah, example, right? I do not believe that I can, even though. Oh, you you it, got what I said. Yes, yes. Instead of asking God yes, for forgiveness, exactly. you're asking something else to forgive you. Yeah. But that's not what possesses the power of forgiveness. Exactly. No, that's a tin God. That's a fake God. That's a God with a small G. That's right. <laughs> but you know, on top of that, like God can forgive anybody, but. They have to be worshiping that God, the yeah. Creator. So, if, for example, uh, God created everything, He gave you life, He gave yeah. you breath, He gave you your family, yeah. food, everything that you have, and then the, not you, but let's say yeah. another person, He goes and says, "No, I, I, this is not my God. My God is Jesus, or my God is um, some yeah. tree." And then they go and they worship it, and then more evidence comes to them. Saying that this is not God, this, th th there's no evidence for this. But they continue to worship those other things. There's no forgiveness for such people, right? Why would they do it? Do what? Because they haven't understood the concept of God. This is what I'm saying. It, it's not even like not understanding. They might understand. They might be like, yeah, I understand that Jesus is not God or the statue is not God. But I'm part of the church. I make a lot of money. I don't want to. Oh, but that's a different purpose. Or, or it might be arrogance, you know. <laughs> So sometimes admitting that you're wrong. Oh, absolutely. It might be a lot of different things, exactly. right? Exactly. Ego will stop people from admitting yeah. that they made a faux pas. What is stopping you? I'm not, I don't think I am stopped by anything. So when I give you the definition of God, do you agree with that? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Do, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it logical and, uh, you know, what to believe in a God who does not give birth and who is not begotten himself. Oh, I believe. Right? I, I, I agree. I agree with that. What, what, I guess what I'm saying is I'm defending the ones who have been misguided, but not because they're bad people, but simply because the way they were raised at that yeah. depending of their surroundings. And they may make choices. That's the reason, that's the reason God actually mentions that in the Quran. He says in one of the chapters of the Quran, in Surah Fusilat, Chapter 41, verse 53, God says, Sanurihim ayatina fila fahi, Bafi anfusihim, Hatta yatabayenahu anna ul haqs, Avalam yaksi bi rabbika in Allah alakul shayin shayid. God says, I'm going to translate that. God says, Soon we shall show them our signs. Mm, yes. In the furthest reaches of horizons, into their soul, until it is clear to them that this is the truth. So the moment you see the sun, you're reminded there is a creator. The moment you look at the moon, you're reminded there is a creator. The moment you reflect on your own self, be reminded that this cannot come into existence on its own. Be yes. reminded that there is a creator. So these kind of people, God will instill into their hearts that there is a creator. Yeah, but everybody goes differently, like here. Hmm. And hence why, hence why, when they reach that point, hence why when they reach that point, God instills into them. Okay. But what if you die before you wake up? Pardon me. <laughs> or we die every day when we go to sleep. Yeah, but no, I'm saying like. And then God sends the souls back. That's so a different uh, thing altogether. Reincarnation. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say why, like, okay, so this person's been raised a certain way, whatever the religion they have, it's irrelevant. And so they believe, but mom said, dad said, they know everything. Now, you know, 10 years old, die. Go to hell? But that's the reason. <laughs> no, no, so, so we <laughs> believe in Islam. We believe in Islam. We believe in Islam that every child is born sinless. Okay. He's born without yeah. any sin. That's the first thing. Second thing is we don't believe that God actually created human beings and they are born with sin. Okay. They're born sinless. First thing. See, it's like a child taking birth and this child is already born with, with 100 million dollar worth of uh, deaths. Oh yeah. Is it fair for the child? No. It's not fair for the child. No, but that's, that's the first thing. Saying. Second thing is, second thing is we say that God has created the human beings on the fitra. What is the fitra? The fitra is the natural inclination, ah. the natural disposition of the human being to know that there is one God. Yes. He knows that by nature. He knows that by nature that there is one God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then later on what happens, 
because of the influence of the society, because of the parents, as you have said, because yeah, of the society, they start yeah. worshipping yeah. human beings. They start worshipping sun and the moon. They yeah. start worshipping tree. They start, they start worshipping the society. Yeah. They start following the desires. Yeah. That's the reason I say that God has not just left the human beings to wander on their own. He sent a prophet, gave a message to the prophet. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah, so, so in a way, it's similar. How would you say, for example, the Catholics sent God sent Christ. It's just, uh, it just happened. No, no, I'm talking about you. Way. Let's not talk about somebody uh, else now. I'm talking about you. Oh. When you are convinced, do you want to become a Muslim right now? 